It's already been taken, and it's going to be that Beastmaster. So KP probably going to be running it. Um, I was thinking they might have gone for like Tide or something, but I guess it's just that early rotation in, hard to save for Storm. Um, so looking at these two drafts, we're, we're all the way through it now. Is there anything that it's not a big deal for them, but they are going to have to deal with Beastmaster for level 6. He is almost level 6, he needs one or two more creeps, and he has a smoke already, and Tranquil, so he doesn't even need to go back to the oh. to make move happen, maybe. Yeah, just gonna go down there in the mid lane, and as soon as those supports leave, he's just open season. That was really cool there by Newbie. They bring in Chuan as well as Kaka, and hit him with the Splinter Blast just a little bit out of position. If he shows mid, they know that they're all going to be behind him. So they have a waste of a smoke at this point, but they don't really have a choice because he did miss. All right, well, there's that X getting thrown out. The A Blast is going to follow it up, and they do pull him back. Xiao Wei controlling. The Roar is going to turn it back around, and Cold Embrace not going to do a whole heck of a lot, but they do get that Winter's Curse on the Xiao Wei, keeping him back for the moment. Splinter Blast and the Terrorblade right clicks are going to be able to bring him down. Maybe jumps upon Hao. There's going to be the Electric Vortex, and just trying to run away. The Knight's Finger of Death, and maybe falls out barely alive, but it's going to get taken down. And now Chuan X again, the Torrent combination with three dead. Newbie have to back out here. But they did take down that Bat Rider and the Storm Spirit, so nicely played. Scout them out, though. That like LG have a very good idea. There's a ward behind. They see maybe running around. Shall we? We're running to the Hawks, so the jig is up. But they already have a Dragon Lance on aggressive. Oh, he is good very oh wow. wow! They caught Shall we? Really well played there. And they only end up getting one with that boat as well as the Ancient Apparition Ultimate. They turn it back around with the Winter's Curse thrown onto Shall we? Just keeping them in place for a moment. Kunkka ends up taking down that line a second ago. Beastmaster kills off the Bat Rider, and now looking for September. They're not going to be able to quite keep up with them. The X Torrent combo kept move controlled, and it looks like with this, LGD are going to finish off and just try and back out of here. Can they actually bring down MMY? Don't think so. They're going to have to get a boar slow, but I, it's not going to oh. be easy. Torrent on it, nicely played. Yeah, the newbie's cooldowns are like way longer with meta and winner's curse and putting up, you know, Bat Rider just being cheeky here and there, Swamp here pushing out a, a way that he shouldn't be, Drow Ranger showing herself on the map. Oh, yeah. but that is going to be a roar on the September. Moo is jumped upon as well. Maybe he's there, and they throw out the Winter's Curse for the moment. Xiao Wei pulls back Moo into the boat. This should not end up actually doing anything. BKB's right popped. Maybe still stunned. Can they find the kill, though? He's just going to be able to zip away. Beastmaster beats down the Kanka, and that is going to end up being a suicide. So they end up overextending ever so slightly by LGD. They're going to keep trying to chase down Xiao Wei, but it's a little bit of a difficult one. If Chuan can get another blink in a second, he might be able to find the kill, but... There's going to be a blink in force to Zhao Wei as well. So no point, because they were completely covered for it. But KP is going to end up going for the split push game right now. One TP is going to go back, seeing if they can stop him. But that's going to end up being a jump, and they have been able to find maybe now. Okay, the X back. Wow, that was really good. So they don't still have a TP them. on Storm, though. They can just take down this tower. And the only person that can TP back is Zhao Ranger. They might have to give her a TP spell, but she doesn't have her TP because LGDs. Okay, oh. maybe gets jump on the Chuan. He has a Glimmer Cape to keep him alive for the moment. They were trying to bring down Zhao Wei, not quite dead as of yet. How is still hitting this whole time. The tier three and those racks are going down in the bottom lane. Kaka, very low, but not dead as of yet. Zhao Wei just turned on to aggressive. They're doing a decent chunk of damage, but they have to buy back on that Terra Blade. Two already down. How turns up. He's going to right click aggressive. The boat, the roam buff is there, but I'm not sure if it's going to be enough. And now the Dragon Tail September falling. Maybe is still here and very healthy, but out of mana. And now he's going to end up falling. And also, maybe controlled, right clicked, mana drain, everything. He's dead. Aegis, he might be able to get out of here. But it's a question of how quick those fingers are. They get the stun, there's the catch, and maybe he's dead. Oh, man. What an investor. Uh, it's still got terribly the back, but that, that was like the. Oh, just pop your BK, focus down the uh, Ranger or the Storm with a, a roar. Man, and I'm looking at this too. Kaka, so farm. He has his blink dagger coming out to him, and it looks like LGD actually want to take the fight to them. If they could catch him before they're all set up for this, this would be pretty huge, but... Oh, Chuan is slightly out of position. Oh, God, if they can get him. Oh, nice blink away. Maybe is also going to get spotted, and they have already thrown it out, so aggressive with the BKB pop is going to take a lot of damage. First roar coming out. They are going to be able to do a ton of damage to him. I was just hitting away in the midst of all of this, standing tall, triple kill for him, MMY also going to be brought down. The only one away is maybe, 
What a disaster! Oh. Yeah, what a win scourge right there. And BKB, like, if you do, damned if you don't. If you don't, you just get hexed and impaled. Who just built, like, Crimson Guard, Vlad's AC, like, Blade Mail, all these armor items. And it's just very difficult to deal with that if you don't have, like, a Dazzle, like, in the draft, or an Eldor Titan uh, to burst through the natural armor from the Terror Blue. Like, the, they're relying a lot on your physical damage. Well, trying to get the jump, but Zhao Wei immediately roared in a Winter's Curse on top of September. Oh, pretty nice there. Coming out from aggressive, they got the gust, and September is still going to fall, though. And now, newbie, another roar onto aggressive's head. How is just yeah. on a triple kill, wicked six streak, and they end up sundering as well to keep moving alive. MMY not going to be able to get taken down in the end, but That's it's just pretty yeah. much GG here. I mean,. Mm. The, yeah, the Beastmaster has been just owning them the fight. Like, when in a row, they were like almost always weak to five man LGD. So, that's one thing that I really like in Beast Draft, not only like the mass armor and physical protection, but so the team fight potential and the willingness to take the fights. Well, a quick Shadow Blade forward move might be able to find maybe. Oh god, and there's the stun and looking for a blink forward. KP gets the roar. He's not going to be able to do anything. Winter's Curse. Oh, a little bit of a miscoordination there, but maybe it's still going to be controlled and brought down. Aggressive trying to turn on to how it's not nearly enough damage. They're going to just turn onto those barracks. Newbie in demonstrative and dominant fashion take game number one against LGD. And uh, not a whole lot else to say about it. Yeah, they had to rethink their opener. When the Elder Titans may out, they need a better solution if they with a Terror Blade. Like, I think like, Terror Blade's been even a little bit harder than a Drow Ranger recently in terms of tier of picks. So that was. Like, I'm, I'm very impressed by Newbie this game. How? Oh. There. Wow. Well, yeah. it is going to be that invoker you talked about. I think it's 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 really good at protecting the Slark. Uh, like you can prevent him from getting bursted down with like a deafening blast to hit those range heroes, or like a tornado to prevent like a blade mail on the axe, as well as having a lot of magical bursts to deal with the axe. So, um, I Phoenix Bounty up top, no big issue. Man, this is really awful uh, to try and watch. This is, this is a struggle right now. I'm sorry, guys. Oh, roll in. Moo, gonna take some damage. It's gonna end up getting kicked back as well, but maybe gonna drop low and is gonna be able to survive through it. Down to 20 HP. Oh, man. Yeah, just because he doesn't have this wave. This wave could be like 5 CS for him. But he already <laughs> had first blood, so it's not that big a deal. Unless he dies right here. Oh, Kaka coming in as well. They've got the extra bonus damage from the Drow Ranger, and it looks like they're going to be able to run him down. Maybe in a lot of trouble getting healed up, but brought down. Viper finds the kill in the end. September and MMY have rotated in as well. They end up being able to take out the IO and possibly going to be able to find Mu as well. He's, he's got the Icarus Dive DOT on top of him. Brought very low as September, but not killed. 18 HP. Oh, wait, they do end up being able to get him. Double kill, and Mu is going to fall for it. Lacrity and Forge Spirit. Just that IO and uh, Viper combo is really frustrating. Play against. I guess we just saw how like quickly you could end up finding the kill there. All right, well, secondary roll in on to how a lot of damage. Sunstrike coming out as well. That is going to hit, and the Gust back is not going to keep him alive. Chuan now also in a little bit of trouble. The Earth Spike catches MMY. Malunga surge forward, and a Hex base still taking that DOT from the Ion Shell and trying to keep him alive is Kaka, but he's just going to end up sealing his own fate. KP has shown up, but three heroes dead from MMY. Can they take him down? September call KP gets MMY, and that's going to be a kill so the dunk finally they punish but it's after the already drow gets killed off this ion shell is and it looks like Moo will be able to get a tower or unless maybe gets a deny oh aggressive is here as well cold snap on to Moo. he might be in some trouble forced to pop the mech and ends up getting the tower still alive turns on to aggressive those are the ultimate onto him and he's going to be taking that damage continuously with kaka here they might even kill him off can he actually hop away he doesn't have a pound for another one second two second he's going down maybe finding his way out is he actually out of there oh the ball comes in kaka says no Yep. Good luck trying to kill a viper. This beefy viper. 
That would be very bold indeed. It looks like they're gonna wrap around oh, now. Okay. They... They're gonna get uh, Kaka jumped upon Silence, but still running away through the trees. They don't have eyes on them, and Vacuum is low. They are gonna be able to throw it out, and Egg over on the side. It looks like, at least for now, they're thinking about reinitiating. Zhao Wei got the Battle Hunger thrown onto him. Chuan is actually going to end up being brought down here. They find a second kill. So two supports already dead. September is trying to get away from KP, and it does look like they're going to be able to make that little escape. Nice Observer Ward. That Observer Ward saved the oh, day. Jumping on MMY, though. This might be enough. They get the Gust as well, so he's not going to be able to run away. Dunked. Shock. Well Off with your head. <laughs> A little extra bonus movement speed. That was really good kiting, though, there. They, they just kept on... You know, they need to have more heroes around to make that happen. They need Slark to win and get vision for them. And then drop the egg with the vacuum wall, too. But I don't know if they're going to be fast enough. It's already at a quarter of health. Maybe it's showing no signs of trying to TP. It's very low. And oh, it looks God. like it will be... Uh, Silence on the KP, but aggressive Hex, Finger of Death, he's gonna end up going down here, Silence, and is gonna end up dropping, possibly the egg is gonna get turned upon now, Moo brings it down, the mech is popped, they're gonna chase now, wait, he has been called and is gonna be cold, another one for KP, MM Watch just scatters to the wind, but... Honestly, at this point, the IO goes down. Some small semblance of hope. Actually, the Frost Arrows, MMY's caught now. He's going to go down. Triple for KP. Yeah, I don't know why they took so long to get there. They had the scan. They had the Sun Strike. They clearly know that they were doing it. And Newbie showed no signs of backing off as soon as the Sun Strike came out. It was like the willingness to fight. We saw Newbie last game how they dealt with the drought. Always try and fight into them. Be ready to defend the towers if there is going to be a five skill engagement. And LGD were just far too hesitant. Oh, Zhao Wei vacuum only catches Mu again and actually isn't even in the wall. He just walks around it. How oh, meanwhile is going to take down September? Does get off the egg. There's the deafening blast for the disarm. How needs to back up? Still fine. They pop the mechanism. And with KP jump forward, they're gonna use these Forge Spirits to try and break the blink, but they can just reload again and nothing of value lost while the egg is down for LGD. Man, Kaka building a hood. You don't see it enough. Back again, but not through the hole. It's just bad court into the game to Earth. People can't set up with some kills. Oh, how gets the counter initiation onto aggressive, bringing it down. There's the chop, and now with the kill onto him. How is back up again. They're going to right-click him on Y. And AB just trying to do anything at all, but he doesn't have nearly enough farm to really stop them. And all of the slows, all of the dunks, How finds the kill. Newbie are rolling. And with the tier 2 down bottom, can they just move down to the tier 3 bottom? Yep. Uh, that was... I had more faith in the Sark opener. I was like, surely they know what they're doing. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> I think that it was like newbie were prepared for the Shadow Blade. They let him farm minutes and then they bought Sentry Wards and then could never get Kaka. The only thing they caught him was with the drop of Zero Ward on uh, that box. He won other time Kaka been in this incredibly difficult to find position and just beat up the cores and moves big and bad up in front, just daring anyone to come up front and. It has been a very, very impressive showing from Newbie through these two games, and it's not like LGD have been necessarily playing bad all around. It's just Newbie taking advantage of every little mistake that's coming their way. They jump forward, get the hex onto it. A two-person Earth Spike followed up by the catch, and Katie jumps in. They're going to be able to get another bit of second, possibly. Zhao Wei brought down, looking for more. He has a blink off cooldown in two seconds, but it doesn't look like they're going to be able to catch anybody else. I really like the way that Newbie itemized. There's like a lot of small things in this game. Like, he gave an arcane boost so they can stay in their push because IO doesn't boost. He's going to win the game without boots, it looks like. <laughs> and he also itemized for a hood because he realizes he doesn't really need to play to vibe because he's the target. If he survives, then the course is him. So, like, the, these, all, all the small item choices have gone a long way into this 20 minute victim Newbie. Man, uh, Kaka, we talked about it at the draft, this is his hero, and yeah, is, Chuan also, uh, they have been playing just so well, both of these supports for Nubian, and honestly just the whole team, it's been really impressive to watch, it looked like, with that boulder smash, keeping him off the Ancient for now, but how much longer, this is... Yeah, this seems pretty much over at this point, they're throwing the half HP, oh, but one last go. Back, 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 back,
Can they turn it in the least bit? Maybe doing a lot of damage. They're dropping so low. How is it going to fall? Kaka is low, but Mu and KP are just too big at the end of the day. Can they kill off that Wisp? He is going to die, and already the buybacks come out in force from Newbie. Zhao Wei ran down and possibly going to fall here. They get the chop again. Triple kill for KP. Everybody's buying back. They just want to keep partying. <laughs> This is absurd. What is that was going like on? <laughs> Another one. Why not? Slark, does he have one as well? They do, but Dyer's Ancient is going down. They just turn around and are going to start to hit it down. KP tries to find Zhao. Stun Strike going to come, but guess what? Good game gets called as the Ancient falls. I like how throughout the whole thing, Viper was at like 90 for the HP. <laughs> <laughs> well. Ladies and gentlemen, newbie, 2 0 over LGD. Merlini, what are your thoughts? Does has this changed your opinion of either of these teams at all? Uh 